Welcome to your ultimate pit stop, Piston Pundit. Today we're diving into the fourth generation of America's favorite mid-size pickup, set to hit the market by year's end. The 2024 Toyota Tacoma is a game changer, boasting significant upgrades from its predecessor. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows, there are a few hiccups you should know about. So buckle up as we navigate the pros and cons of this new beast on the block. The highlights. Let's kick things off with the positives. We've handpicked the top five enhancements over the previous model. Ready? Let's hit the gas. Advantage number five, powertrain prowess. The previous Tacoma generation faced criticism for its lackluster engines. However, the new Tacoma is set to change the game with three potent powertrain options. The base model will sport a 2.4 liter turbo four, delivering 228 horsepower, and 243 pound-feet of torque, a significant upgrade from the old naturally aspirated inline four. A more powerful version of the same engine will offer 278 horsepower and an additional 52 pound-feet of torque, enhancing driving dynamics. The real game changer is the all-new hybrid powertrain. Based on the turbo four engine, it boasts a max output of 326 horsepower, making it the second most powerful in its class. But it takes the crown when it comes to max torque, delivering a whopping 465 pound-feet, surpassing even the Gladiator's 3.0-liter V6 Eco Diesel. The problematic 6-speed automatic is being replaced with a new 8-speed unit, and models like the TRD Sport and TRD Off-Road will continue to offer a 6-speed manual option. The new Tacoma is revving up to leave its competitors in the dust. Advantage number four, suspension revolution, enhanced ride quality. The next-gen Tacoma's recent unveiling revealed a host of improvements over the old model. The new platform features a reinforced chassis, but the real star of the show is the new suspension setup. Gone are the leaf springs in most versions of the new Tacoma, replaced by a far superior multi-link independent rear suspension. This promises a significant boost in ride quality. Given that most rivals still use leaf springs, the new Tacoma is poised to lead the pack in this department. In addition to the new suspension, the 2024 Tacoma is finally getting a brake upgrade. The outdated rear drum brakes are being swapped out for modern disc brakes. All these upgrades, coupled with improved chassis rigidity, should dramatically enhance the ride quality, an area where the Tacoma has traditionally struggled. This puts Toyota's pickup truck ahead of the curve, ready to take on its rivals. Advantage number three, versatility in cab and bed configurations. Mid-size pickups have improved significantly in recent years, but one trend we're not fond of is the limited body styles and cargo beds. Take the recently redesigned Chevy Colorado, now only available as a crew cab pickup with a short bed, or the new Ranger and Gladiator, both only available in crew cab layouts. However, Toyota's new Tacoma breaks this mold, offering a variety of configurations, including two cab styles. The basic trim levels will still feature what Toyota terms an extra cab, essentially a two-door extended cab style, and the crew cab model will be available across all ranges. Additionally, two bed lengths will be offered. Notably, the longer six-foot unit won't be exclusive to the extended cab model, but will also be available with the crew cab model, a feature we particularly appreciate. Advantage number two, premium interior. The 2024 Toyota Tacoma's cabin design, unveiled at the recent premiere, is a significant upgrade from its predecessor. The new Tacoma, heavily influenced by the Tundra, boasts a boxy design and superior materials. The optional 14.0 inch infotainment screen, borrowed from the Tundra, features a Texas developed interface. The upper trim levels are packed with exclusive features, including the new isodynamic performance seats in the TRD Pro model. These seats use air over oil shock technology to minimize body movement, ensuring your body stays steady, even on the roughest terrains. This not only helps prevent injuries, but also reduces fatigue. Advantage number one, four off-road models. The 2024 Toyota Tacoma introduces two additional off-road versions of the pickup, 
bringing the total to four. Alongside familiar names like the TRD Off-Road and TRD Pro, the Japanese manufacturer also unveiled a new entry-level off-roader, aptly named the TRD Pre-Runner. This model will be a basic version of the pickup with enhanced off-road potential, thanks to the rear locker and several other upgrades. Interestingly, it will be sold exclusively in the extra cab layout. The most exciting addition is undoubtedly the new Trail Hunter, which will share the top spot in the lineup with the TRD Pro. It's a different breed of off-roader, with a focus on rock crawling, and comes fully loaded with off-road equipment and accessories. It's a genuine overlanding pickup, equipped with things like Old Man Emu shocks, bed and roof racks, and many other accessories provided by ARB. Both the TRD Off-Road and TRD Pro come with significant upgrades, including new shocks, and will be far more capable than before. The Downsides while the all-new 2024 iForce Tacomas are expected to arrive at Toyota dealerships in December of 2023, with iForce Max models expected to arrive in the spring of 2024, we've identified three potential issues with the new pickup that could be seen as drawbacks when compared to its rivals. Let's delve into them. Drawback number three, reduced towing capacity. While the Tacoma has traditionally been competitive in terms of towing capacity, the new model sees a slight decrease in max ratings. For instance, the new TRD Pro, due to its hybrid setup, will tow 6,000 pounds down from 6,400 pounds. However, it remains on par with key competitors like the Chevy Colorado ZR2 and Jeep Gladiator Rubicon, which also tow around 6,000 pounds. The new Ranger Raptor is expected to have a slightly lower max towing rating. As for standard versions, the new Tacoma, equipped with a 2.4-liter Turbo 4, is expected to tow 300 pounds less than the outgoing model's 6,800 pounds, while the hybrid will maintain a towing capacity of 6,000 pounds. Drawback number two, rivals may still outperform off-road. The new TRD Pro and the rest of the off-road lineup look impressive, and we can hardly call that a drawback. However, the fact remains that some rivals will still be better off-roaders. For example, all three American rivals, the Gladiator Rubicon, Chevy Colorado ZR2, and Ford Ranger Raptor, feature a front locker, something the Tacoma doesn't have. The Gladiator offers superior approach and departure angles, while the Tacoma also lags behind the Raptor and ZR2 in terms of the breakover angle. Another thing that the Tacoma lacks is the LT designation on its tires, though it comes standard with 33-inch units, just like the competition. Despite this, the new TRD Pro will be an exceptional off-roader and will have a couple of significant advantages over the competition, especially in terms of the powertrain and seats. Unfortunately, it could easily be more expensive than the ZR2 and Rubicon. Drawback number one, price hike. Given the global trend, the price of the next-generation Tacoma is set to rise, and we're pretty sure that the most basic versions will cost over $30,000. For comparison, the current model starts a little bit over $28,000. Many variants will probably cost more than their comparable rivals, including the aforementioned off-road models. We already talked about the TRD Pro, which will probably cost over $55,000, more than the ZR2 and Rubicon. The new Trail Hunter should be similarly priced as the TRD Pro. Thank you for tuning into Piston Pundit, your ultimate pit stop for vehicle updates. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay in the loop with the latest vehicle updates and upcoming videos. See you next time.